Hey, hey everyone, it's G here in Cali. Day on here. Welcome to today's health tip. It's Tuesday, January 23rd, 2018. Woo -hoo. So today's health topic I'll be talking about, is it okay to work out when you're sick? So ha has that question ever pondered in your mind? Is it okay? So so today's article we're gonna is gonna reveal whether or not it's okay to work out when you're sick, okay? So um, again, guys, as you know, you can follow, you know, um, get these articles in my Healthy You page. The link is in my um, description here of this video. So go grab the link. I mean, I'm sorry, go grab the article. Hey, brother, welcome. My brother is on. Woohoo! So is it okay to work out when you're sick? So this can be a very uh, quick article, guys. This, this won't be a long video. Very short, quick um, uh, article, article here to address that question. So what do you think, brother? I know you're on, you're on, and if you're watching the replay, what do you think? What what's your opinion? Do you think it's okay to work out when you're sick? So let me let me get your um, let me see let me do a poll here to see what where you guys are in regards to this question because I know I've you know it's pondered in my mind before. So thanks for the emojis, woohoo! Thanks, brother. So let's talk about this, guys. So let me know if you're watching the replay, you're watching the, um those of you alive. What do you think? Is it okay? Is it okay to work out when you're sick? What do you guys think? Okay, so. Engaging in regular exercises is an excellent way to keep your body healthy. In fact, my brother says yes. <laughs> All right, thanks, brother. Working out has been shown to decrease the risk of um, chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease, helps keep weight in check, and boosts the immune system. So we all know those are the benefits of exercising, right? This is why we need to be physically active. We need to make sure we're living a physically active life because, because of the health benefits. It's going to help you with your health if you exercise on a regular basis. And that can just be you know, gardening, doing some yard work, doing things you love, cleaning your house, you know, taking a ride in a bicycle, taking a walk. It doesn't have to mean, I don't want to talk about, you know, you don't have to be, you know, um, going to the gym every single day. I'm talking about physical activity. It's going to help you live longer. It's going to look at the health benefits. It's, it's going to help you fight chronic diseases, okay? So while there's no doubt that exercise plays an important role in your health, many people wonder if working out while sick will help or hinder their recovery. So what? Do you, so my brother says yes. He yes, it's okay to work out. So we're gonna find out, guys, in a minute here what you know what the answer to this question is. However, the answer isn't black and white. The article explains why sometimes it's okay to work out when you're sick, while other times it's best to stay home and rest. Okay, a speedy recovery is always the goal when you're sick, but it can be hard to know. When it's okay to power through your normal gym routine and when it's best to take a few days off. Exercise is a healthy habit and it's normal to want to continue working out even when you're feeling under the weather, which is true, right? You still have a desire, you still want to do it, you want to get it done, right? This can be perfect, perfectly fine in certain situations, but also detrimental if you're experiencing certain symptoms, okay? Many experts use the, use the above the neck rule when advising patients on whether to continue working out while sick so again it's the above the neck rule is what is the key here that i want you guys to get from this from, from getting this video from this article above the neck rule keep that in mind okay many experts use the above the um the above the neck rule okay so what is that according to this theory if you're only experiencing symptoms that that is above your neck such as a stuffy nose sneezing or an earache you're probably okay to engage in exercise so again we're talking about the above the neck rule so if your symptoms are above the neck it's okay guys it's okay so you have a stuffy nose you have you're sneezing you have a little earache you're probably okay to exercise on the other hand thanks for the emoji brother Woohoo! if you're experiencing symptoms below your neck like nausea nausea body aches fever, diarrhea, productive cough, or chest congestion, you may want to skip your workout until you feel better, okay? A productive cough is one in which you're coughing up, you know, stuff. So <laughs> I don't want to get into the detail, but, um, but that's, so I, I, like I stated, very quick article, right to the point. I love right to the point, me, that's just me. So I want to give you guys a direct right to the point answer. So so what's so what's the takeaway here? So again, that's, that's it guys, a quick article. So, so what's the summary? To summarize, some experts use the above the neck rule to determine whether working out while sick is safe. Exercise is, is most likely safe when symptoms are located from the neck up. There you go, right? It, this, this, is, this wasn't a hard, you know, 
um, answer here. So again, if your symptoms are above your neck, stuffy nose, little earache, you're okay to work out. But if it's below the neck, chest congestion, you're coughing, you have fever, you have diarrhea, no, not a good idea. Get rest.